Coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. How are you today? Today I am here with a popular topic, I think, and I think it's something that um is important and is valuable and it's something that we should all be on top of and that's the hygiene of our tools. So today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the products that I use, the tools that I use, and how I clean them, how often I do it, and I guess the different steps that I take depending on the types of tools that I'm using. And I think I've talked about this on my channel before. It's probably been a good three or four years. Why have I been on YouTube this long? <laughs> and uh, I still use pretty much the same types of products. My techniques maybe have changed a little bit, but I think it's important that um, we stay on top of things that we may not notice that we do often, you know? So it's cool to do a tutorial. It's cool to do an eyeshadow palette review. It's cool to talk about your favorite things, but you know what's also cool? Cleanliness. You know what's also super cool? Hygiene. So today we're gonna talk about why my beauty blenders are always super clean and uh, how I don't mix together eyeshadow colors, uh, even though I just use the same like four brushes all the time, forever and ever. If y'all go back to my channel like five years ago, I did a video on my top favorite brushes or tools and like 99% of the items that I mentioned are still the same ones that I use now. So I'm obviously doing something that's extending their life or at least treating them in a way that makes them last, you know? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. I don't know why I make these intros so long. It's just like, it's kind of lonely. Hang out with me, please. Can we be friends? So we're gonna talk about um, certain tools, um, certain products, and then y'all are gonna follow me into my bathroom, Cochinas, and I'm gonna show you guys how I actually do the process. I guess it would save us some time if I talked about it and then did a side-by-side. -side. Ooh, that's a good one. I should do that. Okay, you know what? Scratch that. You're not going to follow me into anywhere, all right? Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll talk to you about the product and what I do, and then I'll insert a clip on me actually doing it, and that way the video isn't 45 minutes long. It'll be like 30. Um, so shall we? I think it's going to make us feel just a whole lot better if y'all don't need to follow me into the bathroom, you know? Um, okay, so there's different things that I do, there's different stuff that I do, there's different methods that I use, so I don't do the same thing for all my tools, which I've seen this a lot. Um, I've seen a lot of tutorials where they're like, these are my little mason jars, and they just shove everything into one mason jar, and then they shove it into the next one, and then they shove it into the next one, and it's like one size fits all type of thing. I don't do that, and I don't do that because... Um, this just works for me and I feel like it really gets the job done right. I don't know, I just, you know, I like to be extra and I like to do things in a way that complicates my life and makes my life a lot harder. So that's what we're gonna talk about here. So, okay, when it comes down to tools, there's only a few that I consider washable or that I deep clean. And that's my brushes and my beauty sponges. So let's talk about the easiest one first. So the easiest for me to talk about are my beauty blender sponges. Um, they're the only sponges that I use. I do love, and from previous experience, I love the Real Techniques sponge and I love the Flower Beauty sponge. Those are two drugstore um, options that I really, really like. They tore, I never repurchased them because I have these many, okay? <laughs> But if you guys were looking for a cheaper alternative, because I know a beauty blender is 20 bucks, there's that. Okay, so with beauty blenders, um, they stain. And for me, this is something that's very, this is something that requires to be very sanitary because you're putting it on your face with a liquid. So a sponge, a damp sponge, a moist surface, a warm bedroom, it's a breeding ground for bacteria. So re-wetting a dirty beauty blender is awful. Don't do that to your face. Like love yourself a little, you know? <laughs> so I use a clean sponge every time. And the way that I clean them are two ways. Sometimes it's a hybrid, so we're gonna talk about it. If I'm in a hurry and I just need to wash one sponge, right? And I'm not talking about going in with a clean sponge doing my makeup. No, I'm talking about when they're all dirty and I'm gonna wash them. So if I'm in a hurry and I need to wash one now to use it again now, I'm gonna go straight in with my Beauty Blender Solid. Now, are there alternatives? Yes, and this is gonna be the disclaimer throughout the entire video. There are alternatives, there are cheaper products, there are 
products that you get at Trader Joe's or um, your local drugstore or whatever. Yes, there are alternatives. These are the ones that I prefer. These are my favorites. These are the ones that never let me down. So I buy this one, the Beauty Blender Solid. This one has charcoal, I believe. Um, and it lasts like seven years. So, <laughs> so there's that. Um, and so when I'm in a hurry and I just want to clean a beauty blender, I go in straight with this. I damp it, I scrub it, I squeeze it out, boom, no stains, nothing. Even some of the color of the sponge actually comes off. I've seen a lot of posts, a lot of questions where people are like, oh my God, the color's coming off. Is it gonna stain? Is it gonna get on my clothes? Is it gonna get on my face? It doesn't. It's just, I think the sponges are so saturated with like really pretty colors that, I mean, it, it comes off. It doesn't stain or anything. And I guess it's another valid way of seeing that this actually does clean them because it strips the color out, the, out of the sponge. <laughs> I don't know. But when I have time and I really want to like deep clean these suckers, um, I will take a little drizzle of the Beauty Blender Cleanser, the liquid, the soap, um, and I will drizzle a little bit of soap on each sponge, just a little bit, like the littlest bit ever, right? And then I go like this. I don't scrub it. I don't squeeze the soap out. I basically want to get the soap in the sponge. So I gently just do this under running water. And then I fill the sink with water and I drop in all my sponges with a little bit of soap deposited on each of the sponges. And I'll just let them hang out. And that's it, right? I just let them hang out. Later, a few hours later, when I remember that I was doing that, I drain the sink, I squeeze out all the liquid, and then I rinse them with hot water. I don't know if that's the way to do it. That's just the way that works for me and it takes everything off. So if you have time to kill and you really wanna get in there and just really clean them out real good, that's the way that I do it. So the solid and the liquid, they're both very useful. Do you need both? Absolutely not. You can get one versus the other. If you wanna be just efficient and um, something that will last a lot longer, go with the solid. The solid lasts forever. Um, so that's for the sponges. With the brushes, that's a different story. I don't use any solid um, cleansers for my brushes. Um, in fact, I use my facial cleanser. I feel like when I'm going at my face with something like over and over, like in this motion, I wanna do something that I would normally use on my face, you know, like my same facial cleanser. Um, I know it might sound a little weird, especially because you're like, well, it's a cleanser. Is it gonna remove the makeup? Because, you know, makeup can be very pigmented, especially like purple eyeshadow, green eyeshadow. But I'm like, if I'm gonna use that cleanser to remove my makeup and it removes my makeup, it's obviously gonna remove it from anything else, right? So that was my mentality, or rather my train of thought. I could have very easily been wrong because some of these brushes are synthetic, some of these are natural bristles, so they respond differently to skin, right? So I have two ways of cleaning my brushes. Um, they kind of overlap, they also kind of don't. So for example, my eye makeup brushes, I like to spot clean with um, my Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. Um, this is a really awesome tool for someone that has um, a kit, like a makeup kit, if they're a makeup artist or if they're going to school, beauty school or whatever. So it's a very awesome tool for like on the go if you want instant results. Um, it is a very strong scented product. Um, it smells a lot like chemical. It's supposed to smell like vanilla, I don't get any of that. I get like, um, have you guys ever walked into a shoe cobbler and they're using like liquid cement or some sort of sole adhesive that smells really, really strong? That's kind of what it smells like. So for me, it's more of like a quick solution, uh, a quick temporary solution for cleaning brushes uh, that I use to apply my eye makeup, right? Now this is a hygroscopic solution. And what that means is you don't take your brush and dip it into the whole solution. All you do is you drop the brush in a little bit so you barely touch the surface of the liquid and that gets sucked into the bristles. And then you run it on a towel, a paper towel, a microfiber towel, whatever you're using to clean your brushes. I use this little towel that a subscriber made for me years ago. I still use it, it's all stained, you can tell, but it's, it's what I use to clean all my brushes. 
So remember that it is hygroscopic. You don't want to dunk your brushes in there. You need the littlest bit of Cinema Secrets to clean your brushes. So I'll use this only for my eye makeup brushes. I never ever anymore use it for like a big bushy brush, like my blush brush. These I always deep, deep cleanse in soap and water. So um, you can, I mean, you, you obviously can because it does sanitize your brushes, but I just don't feel comfortable doing it. I feel like it's way too much chemical for this much bristle and I'm just like, I work from home. Like, I don't need to get that crazy with my instant sanitizing of my brushes, right? So I will spot clean my eye makeup brushes with Cinema Secrets every two weeks. Um, and then about once a month or every month and a half, I do this and I do this with all my brushes, especially my face brushes. And that is a deep soapy cleanse with my little matte from J Cat Beauty and um, my facial cleanser, which is Purity from Philosophy. So basically what I do is I will take all my face brushes so these are the only ones that I use, um, or any brushes that I used a cream product on. So if you guys ever see a synthetic brush in here, it was used with a cream product, whether it was like an eyeshadow stick or like a cream base to kind of blend out. Like this purple was a cream base, so I used a synthetic brush. So anything that had cream on it or any facial brush is what I deep cleanse with a soapy cleanser. So what I'll do is I will take all of the brushes and I kind of do this. This is a very technical, um, very specific way of holding your brushes. Um, <laughs> can you believe some people don't still, after like six years of being on YouTube, don't notice the difference between like my comedy voice, like when it comes out, <laughs> the change in tone. So um, I will hold them down so that all the bristles are at the bottom. I wet them. And then I will line them up on the edge of my sink and go broop, and just give them a good squirt of soap, right? And then I'll take each individual brush and I will scrub it on this little pad. So it does a few things. It cleans it very fast and very efficiently and it also helps me save water. So I don't have to like run constantly underwater every single brush. I feel like it's a lot, it's a big, big waste, right? So this pools a little bit of the solution, like it makes a nice soapy solution, this little pad, and it really, it really gets the job done the first time. So I'll go in and I'll scrub. Yeah, I hold it like this. I'm a little barbaric. I hold it like this, especially this guy here. I hold it like that, get in there, scrub it real good, set them aside. I'm not rinsing them yet. Scrub, 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 scrub all of them. And then I take them again and same thing. I do a little pool and I kind of soak them up, rinse them. These are my water sound effects. Um, and then I just give it a good, and I make the brush, I kind of push the brush together. I don't pull because you don't want to pull this out of the um, brush, especially if it's a fancy brush like this one that was like a whole $6 um, because these are just kind of glued in place. You don't have sort of like the MAC ones that have that little crimp on the ferrule of the brush. Um, anyway, so I just give them a little pinch, make sure the bristles are nice together so the brush isn't puff out on you. And then I just kind of lay it on an angle with a rolled up towel and let it dry. I let them dry at least 24 hours um, because thicker brushes like this will remain moist. I hate that word. Will remain wet in the center or the core of it. And if I just pick it up damp and I stick it back in my holder, all of that water and moisture is going to go down into the glue, soften it and shorten the life of your brush, right? So a little recap. I don't reuse beauty blenders. I use them once and I wash them and I always wash them with beauty blender, cleanser, solid or liquid, right? I always rinse them with hot water. Um, when it comes down to eyeshadow brushes, I don't wash them that often. Um, I will spot clean them with Cinema Secrets, which I usually get this big jug uh, when there's a 20% coupon at Sephora. Um, and I will only wash them, deep wash them with the cleanser, maybe, maybe every two months, maybe, not even that that long, because between uses, I do use um, my color switch. So yesterday, I did a very bright green, emerald, jewel-toned eyeshadow look, um, and I use the same brushes, you guys, the same brushes. I don't have big piles of brushes to clean and like big chores. Have you guys ever followed any YouTubers who are like, I ran out of brushes, and you look down and they have like a whole beach towel covered in brushes? 
I use the same ones over and over. I'm a creature of habit. I know what I like and I just have to use the same stuff. I'm compulsive. Okay. I'm a little uptight. So I'll use um, a Vera Mona color switch or this one here that I also have, or you could use like an aquarium filter, whatever you guys. Um, and yesterday this had bright green eyeshadow on it. Today it has purple eyeshadow on it. And when I do this, there's no more color left on the brush. It's not gonna ruin your makeup look. So I don't deep clean my eyeshadow brushes that often because I don't need to, you know? Like what, I'm the only one using them. It's not like it's gross. So I'll do the beauty blenders. Every time I use them, I'll do the eyeshadow brushes maybe every two weeks in this. Um, and then every two months in the cleanser um, and then my facial brushes those do get a clean or a wash maybe once a month um, especially these three where's the other one these three so when it comes down to my foundation brush my concealer brush and my powder brush y'all these are the ones that get abused the most so you know I go in there with a good amount of soap and scrub the bejesus out of them this little guy you guys if you're a little like water conscious or you know you feel uncomfortable um, running too much water or you're like oh it's a waste or whatever whatever you like a pink pad um this is really cool because like i said it does that little puddle and so it rinses quicker and it saves time and it saves water i used to have the sigma pad that you suction into your sink and the the so the water would run here, but the pad would be up here. So I'd have to like double waste water. With this one, it's all where I want it to be. The soap is here, the brush is here, the water's here, it's all there. So you can scrub and rinse at the same time. It's very efficient. It cut my brush washing time in more than half. Anyway, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know sometimes with things like this that are so everyday, we forget to talk about it. We forget to talk about the everyday basic stuff. So I thought that I would share my two cents and what has been working for me because I've been doing it for such a long time already. That sounded like I've been working in the industry. No, I mean, just cleaning my makeup brushes. <laughs> I will list and link all of these tools and products that I showed you guys in the description box of this video. If you guys have any other product recommendations or ways that you have cleaned your tools that you find maybe I might like or might be more efficient, I'd love for you guys to share. So please leave that in the comment section below. But I think that's it. I love you guys so much. And you know what to do if you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys.